how's it going guys welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to be taking a look at this cheap uh, 7 port usb hub which you can get from ebay or well amazon and stuff for about um, 10 quid maybe less than that sometimes so before we get started links will be in the description if you want to buy this and also timestamps will be in the description if you want to um, just jump to a section which you want to see so let's start with the I guess the unboxing well it came with um, it, it, it came in a box but it doesn't have a retail packaging um so basically it's just the packaging the parcel and came in that um it came with um, this usb3 cable which i'll get on in a bit and uh, it also came with a power supply which we'll talk about in a bit as well but first let's go ahead and take a look around this keyboard i mean uh, this uh, usb hub so if I could get that in focus, uh, on the front you got one, two, so you've got seven ports uh, on the front, USB 3, all of them, and for each of them you got a switch over here. And uh, that's a really nice switch considering it's a Chinese product, and then you've also got LEDs for each of them, like every single one of them over here, so whenever you're using one, you turn it on, and it's going to switch the LED on just to indicate that it's on. Um, on this side, it's got power input and a micro USB 3 for data. So you connect that with your PC on the other side. And it's got nothing else but um, a light over here. An indicator light over here that will let you know if it's powered on and if it's working or not. So it's pretty simple. One of the things I do like about it is the uh, design. Now, yeah, of course, it doesn't look like the best thing in the world. But it, I, I, I kind of I like it. It has some edges on it and stuff. Um, it, it looks nice when it's sitting on the desk. Um, the only thing I wish for is it could have been in a different color or something because I like things in white and you know if you, if you have things in white like a keyboard and a mouse and stuff you probably want it in white uh, it'll look much nicer but it does look nice definitely especially the LEDs they do definitely look nice as far as build quality goes it's basically made out of plastic it's got a lot of space inside it so it's all hollow well basically so that's what it is if you drop your summer a few times it's probably gonna break into pieces that's what it is so let's talk about the operation how does it even work well um on the side here you've got usb so it comes with this cable now problem is this cable is just this big that's about two feet or something like two or three feet and that is too short way too small for anything so what i what i did is i got a hard uh, hard drive an external one which also connects with the same cable but that cable is longer so I'm, i use that right and so i can have it on my desk and the cable goes under the table and uh, plugs into the pc this is too small for that and also the power supply is too small as well so something is definitely going on over here so what i use um, this blue cable for is to connect it with the hard drive instead i have the hard drive plugged in here instead of going to the um with the other cable down to the laptop or the or the pc that i've got um and because this is a lot closer and that works perfectly and then you also got your uh, wall adapter which goes in here which you can use to power if you have less power coming out of your device now here's the problem with that if I can get this in focus or something, uh, you can probably read that. Uh, it says 5 volt, 0.5 amps. So basically 500 milliamps. And I don't know what to say about this. It's way too short to be powering any of this. In fact, it's not a USB, so it definitely has a bandwidth of uh, anything. I mean, you can definitely, you know, from this cable, you can definitely get a lot of power going through. But they decided it's a good idea to just do 500 milliamps. Now, what what can you do with 500 milliamps? Well, um, you can power these LEDs. That's about it. Maybe not even all of them. That's about it. I mean, that's that's as far as it's gonna get. And here's the problem. I mean, I guess you, you can call it a solution. You don't need it because it just doesn't work. I mean, it does help with the power gets the power through just a tiny bit more but it's not gonna help with anything when it comes to powering hard drives or stuff like that nothing like that so this is useless and you can tell by the quality and the stuff like that it's a complete joke so this is worthless so basically that doesn't work so to summarize this we don't need the power supply all right it's not gonna work it's not gonna do anything that's why i found so let's go ahead and plug this in i show you it um 
how it works and i don't recommend this because it has a problem so i'm just going to move the camera here all right so i'm going to plug it in over here um there you go this is the cable that i got with the hard drive and so it works much better because it's longer that's all it is so now it's plugged in and as you can see one of the leds has come on so that goes down to the table now this goes into my external hard drive which goes in any of these ports and that would work and whatnot so uh, let me talk about how you actually use this thing so you've got a usb port uh, and i'll show you this popping up my on my desktop i'm gonna plug in normally i plug in my usb duck on here and that works here we go so that would pop up over there um you can see that right there so that's that's good it's got the test file for my phone reviews so that's good i'll just zoom back out and i'll show you the other bits so here's a here's the problem uh, the, the good thing is it doesn't affect uh, read and write speeds like they're actually properly working but the power supply is not going to help so i thought the power supply was the issue because the half of it wasn't working and stuff so i got all my board up here which i had to reroute everything or redo everything all the power uh, the cable management which of course looks bad over here but um i had to reroute everything so it would you know work over here so i could just plug this in to the uh thingy and i have it over there because it's just too short look it doesn't go that far so I have it over here but that didn't work because it, i found out that it doesn't really help at all so don't get that another thing as you can see it's not plugged in with the power supply and it's working and that's because it sucks power from the usb port so what i'm gonna do now is um show you how many of these ports work and all of them um they do light up and everything what i'm gonna show you is that if i plug this in how many uh are the uh, are, is gonna respond so let's just and this is a problem and this is why i don't recommend this um i just go ahead and focus on that so I'll count and you'll have to just trust me on this, but I'm not an idiot. So here we go, port number one. And they're really cheap ports as well. So that works, definitely, good. Right, I'll take that out, port number two. Oh, these are really, really cheap ports, that works. Okay, that's fine. So there's seven ports, two out of seven working. Third one works as well. Let's check out the fourth one. Both ones working. Check out the other one, uh, fifth one. That's working as well. And sixth one. That's working as well. And the seventh one. And that was working as well. So here's the problem with that. Well, hang on. What the heck? It's changed the icon from my book to somewhere else. That's good because it's not meant to be my book. So here's the problem with that. When you when you get this um, USB hub uh, for the first time or something, what you're gonna find is four of these ports are not gonna work, and that's because it has a driver issue. And I'll show you how to sort that out. They don't work. Only three of them work, and the power supply actually confuses the PC into thinking that this is the USB port, and this is where the data is going to go through, but it's going to go through the other cable. So let me just go ahead and show you that i just go ahead and show you how you fix the driver because i fixed it but the thing is it doesn't work every single time so sometimes you turn the pc on it doesn't work so right click the windows and go on to the device manager and that should pop up over here and i'll go ahead and zoom in on this so you can see this so if you go down to U universal series push controllers as you can see uh this one over here is meant to be just generic hub or super speed hub with the icon over there and that basically means it's uh, not working so device cannot start the usb request failed and that's because it doesn't have a driver and what i find is sometimes if i turn it on it doesn't work at all then i have to restart the pc and it doesn't work and if it doesn't work what you can do is right click the one with the uh, yellow icon update driver go on to browse my thingy on this one show all the drivers go on to intel and then just pick each one of them do trial and error 
to find which one actually works um, I've got this set but the thing is sometimes if I restart the PC it goes back to his own world so it just stops working and it's really annoying at the end of the day I don't recommend it because it's gonna annoy you more than it's actually gonna be any use so save your money get something better this doesn't work properly and of course since I'm recording a video I had to show that it's working so it's definitely working now but it doesn't work all the time you know I hate this I mean it's making me look like a fool but trust me it just doesn't work all the time okay don't get this USB hub trust me it's just it's gonna annoy the heck out of you um, and the power supply doesn't really help much again so hooray that, that's, a, that's something that you don't need to worry about um, but every single time you turn it on every single time it's gonna say it's not working you have to come in here and change the driver do a trial and error to see which one actually works and then you can get to that to work but sometimes I mean uh, most of the time it doesn't even work with any of them so basically all in all it just doesn't work um, now with the doesn't work thing going on um, I will say one thing three ports do work all the time the four of them don't and some people have had this problem and this and this is a driver issue it's nothing um, to do with windows or anything it's actually just a driver issue so uh, what I'll do is uh, leave it here if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again in another video. Don't get this thing. Just don't.